Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dance of Dragons, or the Winter Wolves, or whatever I end up calling this. For those of you somehow unaware, the Dance of Dragons, as you can tell from the large amount of banners all over my screen right now, is the Civil War from the House of the Dragon show, also known as the Dying of the Dragons, because how many of the dragons are slaughtered? While Lucaris Falarian went south to Storm's End to seek out help from Boris Baratheon, and we all know how that went. It was his brother, Jakaris, who went north to the Vale of Arryn, securing their assistance, and then finally to White Harbor and Winterfell. Jakaris has already visited us. He has he has seduced my half-sister, Sarah Snow, and convinced Cregan Stark to go to war, on the condition that there will be a pact, signing the Pact of Ice and Fire, an agreement made between House Targaryen and House Stark, which involved marriage ties. Basically, a Targaryen would marry a Stark. Namely, one of the future princesses of the Iron Throne would marry Rickon Stark, Kriegan's son, in the distant future. Whenever the hell one happened to be born. In this situation, however, I'm going to state that Jakaris Velaryon has to marry my daughter. He has deflowered her, dishonored House Stark. He must make amends if he wishes to have my allegiance. So yes. Jakaris, the future King of the Iron Throne, maybe, is going to marry the girl that he deflowered. And Cregan Stark is going to try to bring Dawn into the war by marrying the Princess of Dawn. I don't know whether or not the AI is going to accept this, but I will give it a shot. It could be they tell me to bugger off, it could be that they disinherit the princess, but either way, we're going to send word to Dawn to try to drag them into the Dance of Dragons. And young Rickon will remain unmarried for now. I want to see if there's a Targaryen that pops out later on that he can marry or be betrothed to, to secure the Pact of Ice and Fire. It doesn't count with the bastard, it has to be a full-blood Targaryen has to marry into the family. So, yeah, that's about it, really. We will uh, summon the troops, which consists of about like 30,000, 35,000 men, give or take. And we will march south to fight the dragon's wars for them, because the Targaryens are useless and can't keep their own house in order. As you can see, a lot of people side with Rhaenyra over Aegon. Uh, she is has by far the most support out of uh, everyone else, to be perfectly honest. But uh, it'll be interesting to see... Yep, there you go. Young Lucaris' visit to Boris Baratheon has ended about as tragically as it did in the show. But then, they are bastards, so... Who the hell cares? But he has married my sister, so we're okay with them being bastards. As long as Stark blood sits the Iron Throne, Cregan doesn't care. Oh. And I have actually married the Martell girl. But will she will she actually marry me? Yes. Okay. Is it just going to be fine with that? Will the Martells form an alliance? They will, sweet. Uh, it is everyone's concern. Yes, Martell, send me gold. I need gold. Gold is good. 200 gold, sweet. We have to be quick. Because the dragons will beat the crap out of everybody. Quickly as possible. <coughs> Bugger. Ah, edit that and post. Ah, don't put the sneezing in the video. <coughs> I think I like a sneezed up a lung. But yeah, the, uh, the crown lands will fight amongst themselves while we summon forces down south. And Rhaenyra will move on the capital of King's Landing. While Prince Aemon sits at the Red Keep after, I'm assuming, having killed Lucaris. Nope. Lucaris is alive. The event hasn't triggered. Fascinating. She hasn't fought with uh, Aemon yet or anybody, but she's taken King's Land. There's been no dragon fights yet, and Lucaris and uh, Aemon have apparently not fought. Reign of Targaryens hatched a dragon. So yeah, in the lore at least, or in the books and the canon, Cregan didn't march south until the end of the war, but he did send a contingent of Northmen who called themselves the Winter Wolves that just went south with like limited supplies of men and just and just taught the south a lesson basically. So yeah the, the Northmen showed off and then Cregan eventually marched south with a huge army. Speaking of a huge army, Rhaenyra is fighting everyone down south. I don't know where Aemon's armies are exactly. Oh we've had a dance. Prince Aemon prevails. Uh, da, 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 da. Dragon Riders Bela Targaryen, the Rider of Moondancer, and Prince Aemon Targaryen, the Rider of Vhagar, met in fierce combat, and Moondancer was obliterated by Vhagar. Surprising absolutely nobody. Although once I did do this and Vhagar got killed by somebody, so yeah, you never know. Oh, there's another one. Uh, Vhagar also killed Vermax. And there goes Jakar! Oh, you killed the wrong brother, Aemon! You're supposed to kill Lucarus! What are you doing, dude? God damn it, betrothal. Seriously? Come back to court, sis. He killed the wrong brother. You're supposed to kill Lucaris, not Jacaris. God damn it, dude. I know Targaryen names can be confusing, but this is ridiculous. You killed the wrong brother, Aemon. <sighs> typical. Just typical. Absolutely fucking typical. Well, my sister comes back to Winterfell, sulking that her beloved her beloved prince is dead. 
Oh, good lord. And Kregan just sort of like, I can just imagine Kregan sitting there like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> useless, useless people. Ah, speaking of useless, I have completely forgotten to do the thing that I usually do, which is join core, yes. And then try to get some really good commanders to come up north and help me out. Like this dude, for instance. As a really handy trick for CK2, you can literally go into the search function, filter it by join court, and then find the best courtiers that you can possibly grab. But Darkland could be not bad. Yeah, it'll do for now. Mainly, I usually grab the best fighters that I can get my hands on. I get the trait honorable, which actually takes away my ruthless, so I shouldn't have done that. Oop, Vagar's dead. Killed by sea smoke. Oof. But Vagar's. Oh, okay. Eamon's still alive. News from Dragonstone, my lord. During the war, uh, Dragon Rider Prince Aemon, Rider of Vagard, Adam Valarian, Rider of Sea Smoke, been in fist combat. So Sea Smoke managed to kill rape, managed to kill Vagar, but not without getting maimed. Okay, that's a big hit for Aegon, which is good news for us because Aemon was scary, very scary. Oh, Aegon died. Holy crap! Killed by Adam Valarian. Adam was like kicking ass. Is his father dead? Lainor Valarian was murdered. All right, yeah, okay. Then Jakaris was. Murked as well. Duh. This is a Dragonstone, actually. Okay. King Aegon, the second Targaryen, the Rider of Sunfire, and Adam Valaria, and the Rider of Sea Smoke, commanded fierce combat, diving their dragons to tear at each other relentlessly. Adam and Sea Smoke prevailed, killing Sunfire. No, not Sunfire. The king is dead. Long live the king. Shakaris the second. Interestingly, because blood and cheese hasn't happened, which is uh, something that you'll see that happens long enough. And someone has tamed... No, tried to... No, yep. Someone tamed Dra Cannibal. Who tamed Cannibal? Some random scepter. Ooh. That's Rhaenyra, actually. Rhaenyra now has a dragon rider which has Cannibal. That's something. Who the hell was crazy enough to tame the Cannibal? Oh, God. That didn't go well. Oh, God. Helena's is kicking ass again. Helena is like the MVP, obviously. I don't know... Dreamfire is, like, such an underrated dragon. But, uh, yeah, they met in combat, and the Iron Throne, Rider of Cannibal, and the Rider of, uh, Dreamfire, Helena, and Dreamfire prevailed, killing Cannibal. So, Cannibal is dead. Did it- did its Rider die, the Septon? Well, for, like, two seconds they had Cannibal, and then they proceeded to immediately get killed by Helena. Who avenged her brother, actually. Uh, and you have absolute- oh god. Helena, again. This time she ripped the hell out of Lucaris Valorian. Uh, killing Arax. No, wait, wait, what? What? Holy. Uh? Wait, 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 wait. The Dragon Riders, Dowager Queen, Helen the Targaryen, Rider of Dreamfire, and Lucaris Valarian, Rider of Arax, met in fierce combat, driving their dragons to tear at each other relentlessly. Lucaris and Arax prevailed, killing Dreamfire. Holy sh. That dr Dreamfire was killed by a baby dragon. That immediately, that immediately, immediately, the baby dragon got itself maimed, and Lucaris Valarian walked out of it mangled and severely injured. But uh, Dreamfire is dead. This is like a cut t turning into a little bit of a cursed timeline here, ladies and gentlemen. We are fighting the High Towers, who have no commanders. We're just. Beating the hell out of them, apparently. Well, while we're dealing with that, we will march with another 20,000 men from the north to go to Harrenhal. Rider of Cyrax and Prince Daeron Targaryen, the Rider of Tesserion. Tesserion prevailed, killing, uh... Oh, wait, what? Oh! Rhaenyra's dead! Rhaenyra is dead! Holy... News from the Red Keep! During the War of the Iron Throne, the Dragon Riders, Rhaenyra Targaryen, the Rider of Cyrax, and Prince Daeron Targaryen, the Rider of Tesserion... Met in fierce combat, diving their dragons to tear each other. Prince Daeron and Tesserion prevailed, killing Cyrax. The Blue Queen just beat the hell out of her, the Queen's dragon. And Daeron is... Daeron is like the one kid of Aegon's that is like actually genuinely cool. He's, he's like an honorable, kind lad that was raised in Old Town. We haven't seen him in the HBO show yet, but I'm looking forward to that. Because he's like the character that... He would have been a great king, kind of thing. Like, he would have been the good king. Like, he would have been great. But nope. He killed the princess. She is dead. Rhaenyra is dead. Which leaves Lucaris as the king of Dragonstone and a mangled mess of a man. Oh god. This is all just not going too well at all, actually. I think this is going worse than the normal... Oh god, no! Just as one side wins, the other side can kills the other people. Oh god. Hugo, Hammer, and Vermaphore just killed... Did they- Oh god, Daeron is now a mangled mess. And 
severely injured and Tesserion is dead. There's not going to be any dragons left by the... Yeah, well, that's kind of like correct what happened to the Dance of Dragons. All the dragons got killed. This is why they call this the dying of dragons, ladies and gentlemen, basically. I'm going to get down to King's Landing to like help out while there's still some like King's Landing left. Or people to help. Meanwhile, Dragonstone and Driftmark are getting completely destroyed by Aegon's forces. It's kind of hard to say who's really winning when the amount of dragons... Uh, technically speaking, we are with Warscore, but army-wise? Like, I, I don't know, really. Let's go to the Red Keep. Well, we'll pull up what Cregan did originally, which is go to the Red Keep and then uh, secure it for his right for the rightful claimant. Basically, I have another another son. Uh, we have a Rickon. We'll have an Eddard. So yeah, we'll lay siege to the Red Keep. Cregan will march on the capital, and uh, Aegon is still like the gold. The Greens still have a uh, like twenty thousand men just sitting at Dragonstone, and I have another twenty thousand men sitting over here. Which we will move down to Hayford to help out with, at King's Landing. Actually, we'll move down to King's Landing to help out at King's Landing. <laughs> Put my uncle in charge of the second force with 20,000 men. And we've got 30,000 men at the capital. And then it looks like Aegon is actually sending troops to attack us now. Who's this? Sir Regal, a random nobody, has tamed Melees. Ooh, that's dangerous. Actually, no, that's good for us. We're That's on our side, I think. So we'll be fine, I think. We'll be fine. And I am laying... Cregan is just at the gates of Megor's Holdfast, laying siege to it, trying to take the Red Keep before the uh, enemy can arrive, essentially. So Winter is coming for the Red Keep, while uh, everybody else runs around the place like headless chickens, destroying each other with dragon. Uh, you want that, but, like, see. Because I don't think... Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Um, yeah. So Lucaris has died a mangled mess, and the current king is King Joffrey. And you will honor the Pact of Ice and Fire and marry my bastard sister. There you, go. you you will honor the Pact, Joffrey Valerion. Wonder if there's a dragon in this army though, that's the thing. Mm, nope. So yes, I think victory has been achieved, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a matter of the fact that, uh, well, uh, a victory at great, great cost for the for our side and their side and everybody involved, pretty much. And we have almost taken Magor's hold first. And the rightful king will be placed on the Iron Throne, who is consistently refusing to answer my thing about marrying my- You there. Marry my sister. You will perform- You will fulfill the Pact of Ice and Fire. There we go. Fulfill the pact. Damn you. Are they about to attack 40,000 men at King's Landing? What the hell's going on there? Not 40,000, actually, no. They are coming down there. Yeah, they've got, like, a load there now. Uh, we release the Montford Valarian, dude. And then we are going to bring Winter to the Iron Throne. There you go. Krigan Stark seizes Megor's Holdfast. Now, Krigan Stark was a badass, ladies and gentlemen, but he was not a murdering psychopath. So I don't necessarily think that he would execute all of the Targaryens, especially considering the fact that Aegon Targaryen is dead. He's not necessarily going to blame the king and everybody else for all this stuff. I can't seize Blackfire, damn. I can take his dragon egg, though. Like, uh, <laughs> that, that's, that's my... Uh, there you go. I'm taking his dragon egg as payment from the Targaryens, that's what I'm doing. So yeah, we've taken that boy's dragon egg because reasons. Uh, because we wanted a souvenir, I guess. But um, we will not execute all of the Targaryens. That's not really a Kriegen Stark thing to do. Especially considering their age, they're only children. So it's not like we've captured Aegon. We'd, we would definitely execute Aegon the Second. That's a thing that we'd do. But he's already dead. The war is over, ladies and gentlemen. We have won. Winter has come for House Targaryen. The Dance of the Dragons has ended, and Dragon King Joffrey of Dragonstone has won. Now, what will he do with the survivors, I wonder? The Kingsguard is rallying. Uh, Kristen Cole has declared the tyranny against Joffrey, and the Tullys have joined him. The uh, hell? Well, the, the Kingmaker is uh, not happy about this. He's still angry about the fact that the princess rejected him. That whore. Come on, let me duel Kristen. Let me, let me duel the Kingmaker. Come on, let me duel Cole. Let me duel him. Ah. Well, the war's over already. We've destroyed the King's Guard, so... There you go. The Kingmaker has been imprisoned. It's just a matter of uh, what exactly the dragon is going to do about that. We will march on River Run with Cregan, and I will leave the rest of my forces with 16,000 under my uncle's command to protect the Red Keep, while Cregan marches on River Run to bring the Tullys to heal. Which should be easily done. Yeah. Easily beat him up. Actually, the Tullys have declared themselves kings, by the way. That's the thing they've done. Winter is coming. And the El King Elmo has declared himself as king of the Trident, ladies and gentlemen. His son, Prince Kermit, is uh, 
shriveled about being a prince, I imagine it. There you go, they've already- ah, they captured him in battle over there, fair enough. So yep, Elmo has been imprisoned and dragged before the Iron Throne. King Joffrey Valarion of the Iron Throne has seen fit to name Damion Valarion Prince of Dragonstone. He and his sons shall hold it forever, blah 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 blah. Okay, uh, seen fit to name Lord Jonathan Vance. Okay, they stripped the Tullys of their uh, title and gave it to the Vances. Isn't that that branch of House Vance that sided with the Greens? Because there's two, there's two branches of House Vance. Um, yeah, there's there's two branches. They split off. One of them had the Green Dragon, and one of them had the Black Dragon. But I don't know if this mod necessarily represents that too well. But I'm assuming I, I'm just gonna say that this is this is the branch of House Vance that sided with the uh, sided with the correct side and not the wrong side. What have you done about? Say Prince Damon or anybody else. You're not going for the Targaryens, are you? You're just leaving them around, I guess. All right. We'll disband our troops. Head back north. Return to Winterfell with the Pact of Ice and Fire soon to be secured, and the rightful king placed upon the Iron Throne. Even though he looks nothing at all like a Targaryen and is absolutely 100% illegitimate, it doesn't matter. He's married to my half sister. So Stark blood will sit on the Iron Throne, and we will have a Stark princess for young Rickon as soon as possible, hopefully. Uh, one thing, one thing I want to look at is how many dragons are left alive after all this. Quite a few, actually. Sheep Stealer is alive but maimed. Thraxes is alive. Craxes the Bloodworm is alive. Daemon Targaryen is alive and still hanging around. Sea Smoke is also alive with Adam Vermifor. Actually, most of most of Dragonstone's dragons are alive. It's just the, uh... It's just the Greens faction of them that are... Ooh. Dracaris... Dracaris Valerian... Okay. Joffrey actually had him beheaded. And then... Oh. She's been sent to me. Oh. Is this... Is this fulfilling the Pack of Ice and Fire? Why else is she in my court? That's interesting. He's, he gave me... I guess I never specified which Targaryen would have to marry Rickon. But she's a bit older than Rickon. Put, I'll put her in house arrest. Or release her, actually, if she's, uh... I'll put her in house arrest for now. So she's comfortable, at least. It would appear that she's in Winter... She is in Winterfell. She has been sent to me. She's my courtier. Now, what is... Oh, God. Hugo. <laughs> uh... Who's fighting for this? Hugo Hammer's claim on the Iron Throne. Peasant Revolt and Peasant Revolt. Uh, I, this is my duty to defend him. I literally just disbanded my forces and sent them north game. Why are you doing this? All right, we'll move everyone to Greywater Watch and we'll start marching south. And I don't know if Hugo Hammer is going to be actually able to pull this off. He might be able to. I betroth her to Rickon. Why not? That'll be the Pact of Ice and Fire. I guess I never specified which Targaryen. It'll just be a member of the family. Is that good or bad? It's it's good. Okay. There we go. That's probably the only person who could have stopped Hugo. News from King's Landing, my lord. During the War of the Iron Throne. Uh, also considering the rumors that Hugo is potentially Daemon's bastard son. That's one thing that it makes this kind of thing. But Prince Daemon and Caraxes prevailed, killing them before. Uh, but Caraxes was also maimed during the fight. What a dance it must have been. I think Daemon just saved the Valarian's life there entirely, actually. Uh, I guess Cregan brings back a bastard. He is, he is honorable. He is just. He's a badass and a bit of a, you know, he's a ruthless if he needs to be. But he's also a strong sense of justice. So if he did father a bastard down south, uh, I'm wagering he'd bring it back up north. And uh, adopt it. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's you know, name us Snow. So, yeah. We'll bring Mara Snow back north of us. My wife will not be happy. But she's Dornish. So she'll get over it. Where's Amond? Amond is actually... Oh, Amond is married to... Amond's <sighs> branch of the family is going to inherit... That's dangerous for the Iron Throne. Real dangerous. I'm going to inherit Dawn. So, sucks to suck again. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to inherit Dawn, will I? Uh, Eddard. My son Eddard will inherit Dawn. Yeah, Eddard will inherit Dawn, and Rickon will inherit, uh... Will inherit the North. Yeah, because Eddard is Rickon's half-brother, not his full brother. So, yeah. Eddard will become the Lord Paramount of Dawn, and, uh, Rickon will become Lord Paramount of the North. But I'm invited to a feast in the Red Keep to celebrate our victory and to put an end to the squabbling. To hail in the new golden era of peace. Absolutely nobody worry about the fact that Aemon Targaryen is technically Lord of the Stormlands. Who does? I'm gonna, I'm gonna like travel around the place and try to get some dragon knowledge to hatch my dragon. And then Cregan's gonna hatch a dragon. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take like 2,000 men and we're gonna go to various dragon locations. And we're gonna, we're gonna try to hatch my dragon egg. 
Kriegan's like, we, we need, we need the dragons, lads. We need them. Possible resting in a dark room to avoid giving the birth to a sickly child. Uh, she's fine. She's Dornish. I dare not tell her what to do. Nope. He's having his coronation and something has happened. Oh. Queen Visenya's? Claim of the Iron Fro- Who? Oh, some rando nobody who's- Okay. Oh, that's a branch of- Yeah, that's a- branch of House Targaryen through this chick. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, I lost it. Uh, it's probably quicker for me to just go through it. There we go. Th this chick. It's the branch of House Targaryen through this chick who went to Essos and basically shagged everything that moved. And she popped out a bunch of random kids. I'm actually in the reach already with Kriegan. <laughs> That's the thing. Kriegan was already leading forces down south. So I'm already there. I'm already in the reach as the reach rebelled. And interestingly... Coincidence or not, the place that I was at, Torren Peak, with Kriegan, looking for dragon information, they've sided with us. They have sided with the Iron Throne. Uh, coincidence? I think not. I think more the fact that they had 2,500 Stark men outside of their gates, and what? How many men did they have to call on? 500? 600? Yeah. They're, I have twice their men, and we're right outside their gates, so they've sided with us. <laughs> Purely for that reason. Yeah, they've actually, like, joined my force. That's interesting. Left-handed. I have another I have another son, ladies and gentlemen. That's great. So the coronation is uh, interrupted and Joffrey is crowned with the army, basically. King Joffrey bids me farewell and dismissed me from the encampment, alongside all of his other guests. I still cannot believe that the coronation was so abruptly interrupted by an enemy raid. The gods must really be protecting King Joffrey. So yeah, Cregan's gonna cut short his trip and quickly get over here to uh, the King's Landing. Ah, as you ride across the Reach, you come across the legendary Field of Fire. They say that there are armies of the Reach and the Westerlands joined forces to defeat Aegon the Conqueror and were destroyed in a single night and all the Targaryen dragons unleashed free of their dragons, yeah. If only I could command such power. We are going to go up to the Red Keep and wait for the rest of my forces to arrive from the North. The Reach is, uh, the, the fact that the Reach is siding with this chick is ridiculous. The Stormlands aren't, though. I guess the, even Aemon doesn't want some random Targaryen descendant from bastards inheriting the Iron Throne. We will remain at King's Landing and the Red Keep to defend the walls while the uh, rest of my forces scramble to come down south. I'm gonna go chase him. Kriegan's gonna chase him. He's a madman. A madman. I would chase him. It's taking me 12 years to move. Ah, I'm still gonna get him. Yeah, Kriegan is a mad lad. He's gonna go chase down the retreating forces. They have a dragon, so we might get die. If it bleeds, it can be killed! Oh god. I've been burnt. Well, Kriegan is burnt, but he, he survives. And he can't say that he tr didn't try to kill the dragon. All this will change once I inherit a dragon. Is room enough room for another dragon rider? Roger Valarian of the Kingsguard. Sweet. All right, well, Kriegan will retreat north to Harrenhal to group up with the rest of his bannermen. And we'll go back down south and uh, beat the shit out of these guys. This crazy bitch is coming at me. I will destroy you, Visenya, if it's the last thing I do. Which it may well be. <laughs> yeah, Kr Kriegan will not accept the feat. He's going to go beat the shit out of this one. I will get my justice. This, tra this traitorous... Woman will not succeed. Ah, she's already been... What happened to her dragon, actually? Wait a minute. No, I thought maybe I wounded Silverwing, but apparently not. No, no, no. It's fine. I have to get down to the city as quickly as possible. Kriegan will once again arrive at King's Landing to secure that. They got 100%, so she's probably going to be arrested. Yeah, there it is. Good, good, good. Wars have subsided. And the traitorous woman has been imprisoned. Ah, oh, what? Rickon! No! Rickon had a heart attack at nine. What the fuck was he doing at nine to have a heart attack? Do we not have a maester? What the fuck's going on? My maester, no, we have a maester. He's just useless. Uh, if we fail, since we have evidence that he is responsible for my son's death and there will be consequences. There will be harsh, harsh consequences. I'm just going to resign him as that for now and then I will call him for a trial to prove the fact that he is responsible for my son's death. Negligence, ladies and gentlemen. Negligence is what just killed my boy. Well, on the right side, uh... I now, I now will inherit Dawn. <laughs> I'm now going to inherit Dawn uh, and the North with Eddard. Okay, that's fucking. Sh God damn it, man! I blame the Maester for this. The mate, it's the Maester's fault that this has happened. God damn it! The bad thing is that Kriegan is away at the moment, so like I will have his head on a spike for the crime of sedition, a conspiracy against the realm. I will have his head on a spike. Into the smoking sea. What could possibly go wrong? Lots. Lots could go wrong. But Kriegan is a Chad. No, we're not sailing to the Narrow Sea. The ships went there without me, apparently. 
God damn it. Alright, Krigan, get on the boats, dude. We have places to be, things to die to. If HBO has taught us anything, it's not even that dangerous. It's just filled with a bunch of, you know, shitty people. I hate it when they did that. They ruined Valeria entirely in HBO. Oh, right. I have braved the smoking sea. Where many ships have gone, did not come back. You have never seen for yourself the great fires. You have seen for yourself the great fires that ripped old Valeria asunder and vanquished most of the dragons. But we got something out of it. And no event triggered, but we've seen Valeria, which gives me, gives me stuff. I will tame the dragon. What could possibly go wrong? I did it! I did it! I don't know how I did it, but I did it! What the f**k? <laughs> Holy sh Not a drop of Targaryen blood and Kriegen Stark fucking manages to tame a dragon. How? How did that work? I did I expected to die so that I could go play as Eddard and then I'd inherit Dawn and we'd go from there. Not this. I expected to, to die. Does- does- does dragon- does getting the dragon lore from everywhere increase your chance of, uh, ha like taming a dragon? It must. Or I've just got really, really, really lucky. I now have to give Krigan a better, uh, a better title. What the hell? I am now Krigan the Dragon Tamer. Okay, great. I kind of wish I did melees now, and rather than sea smoke. Sea smoke's a little smaller, but... Well, I mean, it is also affectionate. It's taming chances times two. Or at least times 1.5. Plus all the dragon lore that I got. Plus the times five for being locked in a dragon pit. Not sure why I have a dragon pit. I don't think I do have a dragon pit, so... I think the game's a little scuffed in that regard, but oh well. I am the rightful ruler of the Seven Kingdoms. Why? Because I got a dragon. Oh, you failed. Like, even the Valerians can't tame Melees. Melees is not- I think Melees would've killed me. I honestly think if I'd tried Melees, that, uh, it would've been the end of me. So yeah, Krigan's a dragon tamer. Take that game. Suck it. Nope. What's happening? What's happening? War against the tyranny of King Joffrey. Actually? I might genuinely fucking side with him in this. Because if I do that, then my niece will inherit the Iron Throne. Because he's married again, so he's going to steal my niece's claim to stuff. Like, I have to protect my niece's my niece's claim to the Iron Throne, surely. And by doing this, we request honor obligation to cause arms. It's against the tyranny of King Joffrey the Cruel. I'm going to side with him. I'm, gonna, I'm siding with him. He cut the Valerians off in King's Landing. Who am I fighting? Who, what dragon am I fighting here? Ah, she little one. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll kick their ass. It'll be fine. Kriegen Stark has returned to King's Landing, ladies and gentlemen. This time, he's on the back of a dragon. You're like the only ones with dragons now, Targaryen. The dragons meet in vicious combat, clawing at each other's flesh and sending red-hot dragon flames to try to burn the enemy riders. The armies below watching awe as the dance unfolds. We will prevail. Dracarys. Fire and blood. You pick out Fikrax and judge he and its rider to be finished off. You and Sea Smoke dive in headlong into them, sending them crashing into the ground whilst your dragon tears them apart. They are left dazed, and Franklin's corpse sprawled out on the floor below. Our names will live on as legends, and we have killed a dragon. Your enemies think they are safe on the other side of rock and mortar. Do the fools truly believe that such petty defenses can hold back your fire? Uh, I will have to duel another dragon rider, which is... <laughs> Karaxi. Mm, it's bigger, yes, but... Sea Smoke does have plus 50 personal combat skill. Never let it be said that Kriegan the Chad stood down from a fight. We can do this. We do have two dragons as well. Like, I do actually have my daughter-in-law with me. So, we're not alone, ladies and gentlemen. We are not alone. Flying high above the fighting armies, the dragon rider, Sir Rogar, leads a dive attack against you and your allies. He will perish. Hopefully he doesn't kill my daughter-in-law. As a new phase of the fighting begins, and after a long chase, the dragons meet in vicious combat, clawing each other's flesh and sending red-hot dragon flame to try and burn the enemy riders. The armies below watch in awe as the dance unfolds, and we shall cast them down. Uh, Sir Rogo and his allies struggle to compete with your dragon's relentless attacks, several times almost fallen from the sky. Now they are at our mercy, and we shall dive in for the kill. Dracarys, did we do it? We did it! That was surprisingly easy! Uh, I guess there are two of us, technically speaking. How big is her dragon? Ah, uh, her dragon's not huge. But, um, it's- it's a- it's adult, it's rideable, it's actual, like, properly a dragon dragon. Oh god, there's another dragon rider. How many dragon riders are there? This is this Arax. We should be able to beat the crap out of this dragon. He evaded my attack. Cast him down. Dracarys. Should kill you on the next pass. They dodge my most lethal attacks, burst of fire, and escape my grasp. Cast them down. Dracarys. There we go. I think, uh, my daughter-in-law- oh, my daughter-in-law's dragon got maimed, apparently. There, we have taken the red keep. And I will now actually march north and go fight the uh, the king himself. Is this dragon even there? I'm disappointed. It doesn't even appear- Oh, he's left. He's not even in charge of the army anymore. That sucks. Ooh, I'll tell you who is in charge of the army though. There's Lannisters over here. Oh, there's a dragon rider in here. Who? 
Regron, cast them down. Chorus, fire and blood. Our names so live in legend. And then we deploy the dragon in the battle. Burn the Lannisters. We have, however, lost the fight down south at Storm's End, by the way, that I didn't even realize was a thing. So yeah, the, uh, the Stormlands have taken... something? Prince's Pass, I think? Yeah, they've taken Prince's Pass. That's gay. My lord, Joffrey Valarion has been defeated. His reign of misrule has come to an end, and the stability has been brought to the Red Keep. Queen Lyanna Valarion, his heir, shall henceforth rule as the Iron Throne as your queen. Okay, let's... Uh, this has been... It's been a while since I've seen this logo. But, uh, Maelor Targaryen. The one of the only remaining... Actually, yeah, the only remaining son of uh, King Aegon. King Maelor now is claiming the Iron Throne. And he is not alone. The Trident and the Veil vale are both fighting for him. To put Aegon's son back on the Iron Throne. Since my niece has been promised the Iron Throne and the succession laws have been moved in her favor, we will defend the Iron Throne. We will do the Dragon Conquest of the uh, Stepstones and bring the Stepstones into my land. Considering that we're going to get everything else as well. There's nobody to defend the Stepstones, so I will attack the Stepstones. I would attack the Stepstones, but unfortunately it is currently... Uh, I, I can't actually click on them. <laughs> I can't click on the step stones. It, it won't let me. The portraits are just broken. All of the portraits are just broken. I'm going to try and catch these Arons when they come down south. And Cregan has cancer. My portrait is now broken. Everyone's portraits are broken. Your portraits are broken. And your portraits are broken. What the hell have you done to me? Identify the tainted tissue with the root of your disease and removed it with the most likely cure. You were pleased to agree to surgery, however, in hindsight, you wish to told you about the tissue was your face. You kidding me? Well, it doesn't matter because I can't fucking see myself! I am severely injured and disfigured now. Great, that's just brilliant. I'm gonna go hunt down the king. King Maelor. Come over here, Targaryen! I may look ugly and deformed, but you can't tell when I'm flying on my dragon. Uh, I'm no longer severely injured, though. Does Maelor even have a dragon? Does King Maelor have a dragon? No, he doesn't have a dragon. He's screwed. <laughs> so yeah, Maelor's little rebellion is doomed. They don't even have a dragon. Let us do the surgery. 80% chance of successful treatment. 10%, 20% chance of him failing. Treatment for what? You cut up my face, dude. Ah, phantom pain. Line of treatment has worked wonders. And freedom of crippling pain. And I don't even have strange sensations. War for Riverman independence. Hey, I've captured the Pirate King. Sweet. That saves me a lot of time. Uh, what are we looking at down south? So I have a bunch of stuff. I control a bunch of the islands now, interestingly enough. Which is cool. I have also get Kingdom of the Basilisk Islands, which is all of this. And I get the Kingdom of the Stepstones, which is all of that. But Cregan, for now, will take control of the Duskendale forces and march straight on the Riverlands capital. I don't know how they're winning. Exactly. Like, they're, they're technically winning for some reason. Do -do 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 -do. Burn our way through the Riverlands. There we go. War of the Riverlands comes to an end. Is the Reach still... Ah, I get Brilliant Commander. We are actually in an independence war against the Stormlands now. For fuck's sake. It never ends! Actually, they're on Quilly. Kragen, once again, you have to go to the Red Keep to save the day, my man. Like, for the billionth time, you have to go to the Red Keep to save the day. Silly little Baratheon. Silly, silly stag. It is now dead. And straight on to King's Landing. Not King's Landing, sorry. Straight on to Storm's End. And we will wrap this nonsense up. We are basically single-handedly single responsible for uh, keeping our niece... Keeping these guys on the Iron Throne. Like, St Stark has carried this entire thing. If we quickly destroy them, it'll be fine. Uh, what the hell's going on down south? Oh, God. She's been fucking... She's been severely severely injured. She's lost an eye. And that was against my... Wait, no, my daughter... In oh, crap! She fought my daughter-in-law and killed her. My family's just... God damn it. Yeah, Kraken must fulfill the prophecy. He's gone nuts, ladies and gentlemen. He's gone completely mad with power. He's gone mad with Chad energy. He's too much Chad energy for one mortal to maintain. It's just too much. It's too much for any one man. No one man is able to be this Chad. It's just, it's just impossible. His heart may explode at any any point. He has to do this. If he doesn't, his beard will fall off in disgrace, kind of. Uh, but I'm surprised the Iron Throne is just fine with all this. Like, yeah, this is fine. This is normal. Vassals can go completely mad. Uh, I guess I guess he's kind of a unique case considering the fact that he has, you know, a dragon and then never reached to that. And we'll keep moving stuff over. We will imprison all of the Ironborn dude. I'm now over my vassal limit, but the Iron the Iron Isles have uh, bent the knee to me at this point. I am so goddamn powerful, it's ridiculous. <laughs> like, I have the Iron Isles. I have Dawn. I will have Dawn. I have the Stepstones. I will have the Stepstones. How many wars does this count as, exactly? Uh, I've only... Yeah, okay, I need the... 
I need like still quite a bit more. Six more to be precise. Because we have like most or half of the... Uh, I can actually create the Empire of the Summer Sea. Wait, what? I can create the Empire of the Summer Sea, but wouldn't that make me independent? If I had an Empire title, I'd be independent, wouldn't I? Uh, maybe? Um, I think it would make me independent though. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does make me independent. I am now High King Kriegen. Uh, he gets another bloodline. The achievement of founding the Kingdom of the Summer Sea means the bloodline of House Stark is now highly respected by all the peoples of a glorious domain. Considered the great traditional house of the realm. In, a, in an ultimate Chad move, Kriegen Stark has seceded from the Iron Throne just because. <laughs> He's just gone, yeah, I'm leaving. My niece is still on the Iron Throne, but my niece hates my guts. Like... Yeah. Desires the North, desires the Iron Throne, desires everything. He's just like, yeah. We've, we conquered a bunch of stuff and then just created our own kingdom. Uh, we created our own thing and just seceded. We just straight up seceded immediately. I mean, I guess we just call it the North, right? But it's like, it's the Chad Kingdom. The Chad Lands. <laughs> he is High King, Kriegen Stark, the Bloodhound. The Dragon Tamer, the Dragon's Bane, the Chad of the Chadlands. <laughs> oh, it's so very stupid. <laughs> We're no longer the Chadlands. As funny as it was, it was also kind of stupid. King of Winter and the First Men, Lord of Winterfell and Protector of the Realm, the King of the North, the King of the North. I swear, Kriegen can't catch a break. The cancer's coming back. He's got cancer again. God damn it. The Iron Throne is attacking Dawn, and the Iron Throne just killed my grandson's dragon. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Oh crap, no. Not religion. No! No! If I click religion, the entire game crashes. I forgot about that. You, you, you can be privy to this. Uh, okay, so Mace the Mark gives me a draught, which tasted most peculiar. It made me feel numb, and my eyelids started drooping. I apologize, my lord. You do not want to be awake for this next part. Panic hit you as you tried to get up from the operating table, but your limbs would not obey. Curses. Many others striking down. He cut off my penis! What? He cut off my penis! He cut off... This man cut off my penis! Well... And I will arrest him for- This is, will be the second fucking baster that I've executed for- One of them killed my kid, and this one's killed my penis. What, what, he- he- he thing took my penis, so my dragon will take his life. Uh, my son, Prince Recon, is now trying to claim the Iron Throne. Really? Recon, what are you doing, dude? She beheaded my wife. I think we're, we're, we're gonna- we're gonna- we're gonna kill her. We're gonna kill her. I can't say John YouTube. We will kill this woman of ill repute. It doesn't sound the same, does it? He's a Chad, dude. He's like- he's got a dragon, even though he has no dragon rider blood, and he's randomly conquered pieces of land because reasons. He's, like, separated like, from the Iron Throne. He's a Chad with no penis. He, <laughs> that's how Chad he is, dude. He doesn't need no penis. True Chads- do, ch it, you can be a Chad without a penis, dude. You don't need it. it the true Chads can- just yeah, impregnate he woman. He impregnates woman with a stare, dude. That's that's yeah. how chad he is. Uh, he just has uh, to look I mean... at them. Ah, you're so fucking stupid, Recon. Why are you done this? I will save you, Recon! Okay, he got released. Ugh, she didn't kill my kid. So, Kriegen and his fellow dragon rider will march south immediately. Straight on the capital. Well, that worked. I deployed the dragon and it was super effective. I don't think any of the people that I actually had a grudge against burned, but... Like, everybody else did. Uh, your dragon made quick work, bathing it in dragon fire, and Baylor Valarian was among the dead, apparently. So I killed some people, just not the- Not my- It's my niece I'm fighting against here, for fucking Christ's sake. Oh. She killed my- She killed my wife. And keeps oh. attacking my son. I- my, my forces from the north didn't even arrive in time. I just killed them with, like, 3,000 troops. And a bunch of allies from Stormland and stuff as well, I guess. Yes, I have successfully beaten my niece over the head with a stick, and I will now claim the Seven Kingdoms. And I am now the king of the Iron Throne. I, this always happens. Every time I do this kind of stuff, I always become the king of the Iron Throne by mistake. Like, without meaning to. And uh, peace will be restored, ladies and gentlemen. If you want something done, you have to do it yourself. Yeah, it takes an 82-year-old man with no penis in order to bring law and justice back to the realm. So you had Aegon I, who was killed by his... by Killed by a dragon. And then Jakaris, who was beheaded by Joffrey. And then Joffrey, who died under mysterious circumstances. And then my other niece, who died under mysterious circumstances. And then her father, Joffrey, who died under mysterious circumstances. And then my other niece inherited, and that was uh, this chick that we just overthrew. And then it's me. It's been a roller coaster. So, Torrin gets the north and rules that in my stead, and Kriegen moves down to the capital at King's Landing. And everything is perfectly fine. Kriegen has died at the age of 
83 now. Once again, he died of cancer, a prestigious man. Deeds and exploits were known throughout the known world. He is extremely, he was extremely badass, it's true. Uh, we will give him a funeral and everyone will be invited. Most, a so bunch of people will become just to make sure he's actually dead. But uh, his grace for you is taking his last breath. Um, Prince Rickon Stark takes the throne, long live the king. And I'm pretty sure Rickon can tame it. Should be able to, I think. Something must be done about it. Long live the prince. Uh, and he will tame Sea Smoke, and it will be easy and fine, and nobody will die. Mine. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Sea Smoke's mine. She has just died under suspicious circumstances. Her sister died under suspicious circumstances. Uh, my niece's husband died under suspicious circumstances. And her other husband, second husband, died of suspicious circumstances. There is an assassin among us. Assassin among us. Okay, lads. With the end of this and Kriegen dead, we finally. It took him like 12 years. But uh, I will wrap this up because we are not supposed to. Once again, this series has lasted far longer than I anticipated. There's, none of this was supposed to happen. It was supposed to be simple. We were supposed to just, just go quick in, in and out, quick adventure. Just, just done. Just done. Like, finished. But no. So, yeah, that's all for now. And I will see you in the next part, which is, I again have no clue what part it is. Wait a minute. Uh, Robert's Rebellion. That's the next part. Robert's Rebellion as Ned Stark, I do believe. So we will jump ahead to that. And that is all for now. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe like all those random YouTubers do, as if you don't know where the buttons are. This war is far from over.